What's up, Gator Club? Today I'm going to be going through the top 20 songs from Walt Disney World Parks. Now let's set some ground rules here. That means nothing that's originally from a movie or a show. So that automatically knocks out anything from Star Wars, Frozen, The Three Caballeros, Tower of Terror, Beauty and the Beast, The Up soundtrack on Main Street, Indiana Jones, Toy Story, The Little Mermaid, The Lion King, Peter Pan. The list can go on and on and on, but you know what I mean. And first, an honorable mention to the music from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway because I haven't actually been on it yet, so I don't want to spoil it for myself, but from what I understand, it might have some pretty iconic music. So without further ado, here we go. Top 20 is Big Blue World from Nemo and Friends. It's a nice simple song to wrap up the attraction, but it can get a bit annoying, especially if it gets stuck in your head. At number 19 is Tough to Be a Bug. This one doesn't even stay in my head, but as soon as I hear it, it brings me right back to my childhood. At number 18 is The Tiki Room. Definitely one that gets on a lot of people's nerves, but the attraction has that Walt connection, so it's got to be on the list. At number 17, It's a Small World. Probably the most polarizing song on the list, but undeniably iconic. At number 16, One Little Spark from Figment. Another somewhat polarizing figure and song. Not my favorite, but Figment is a face of Epcot now, so I had to put him on the list. At number 15, The Festival of Fantasy Soundtrack a relative newcomer that kind of became an instant hit and could become a classic over time. At number 14, the Flight of Passage soundtrack. This music just calms me, honestly. Hearing it puts me right back in the ride. At number 13, Spaceship Earth soundtrack. The music from this attraction is one of those that is just super comforting to me, takes me back to my happy place no matter where I am when I hear it. And the exact same thing goes for number 12, the music from the tunnel in the queue of Space Mountain. On to number 11, Rivers of Light soundtrack. This music used to mean nothing to me, but then I actually worked at this show for a while, and now I love it. If you haven't listened to it recently, give it another try. At number 10 is all of the songs from the Country Bear Jamboree. I used to hate it, now I love it. Either way, simply iconic. Number nine, from the Canada Pavilion in Epcot, Canada, You're a Lifetime Journey. One of the most underrated songs in Disney. This is an absolute banger. At number eight, Sunny Eclipse is set from Cosmic Rays' Starlight Cafe. Cosmic Rays is one of my favorite spots in all of Disney, and that's mainly because of my boy Sunny Eclipse. Every once in a while, I'll listen to his full set at home just for fun. And yes, I'm serious. At number seven is the Splash Mountain soundtrack. A super long, very catchy, story-driven song. That's all I have to say. Number six, Fantasmic. Heard it a million times, but it still gives me goosebumps. At number five, Happily Ever After. Don't lie, you've cried to this music. At number four, There's a Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow from the Carousel of Progress. I could listen to this all day on loop. Some hate it, but I will defend it to the death. Listen to the original Sherman Brothers version if you haven't before. At number three, Golden Dream from the American Adventure in Epcot. 
I said Canada, Your Lifetime Wonder was one of the most underrated songs in Disney, but this is the most underrated song in Disney World. At number two, Yo Ho, Pirate's Life for me from Pirates of the Caribbean. Probably the most globally recognizable song on the list and the only one to spawn a five movie franchise. And finally, at number one, Grim Grinning Ghosts from The Haunted Mansion. Of course, my favorite attraction comes with my favorite song. Huge shout out to Disney legend Imagineer Exitensio, who wrote the lyrics to both number two and number one on this list. So there are my top 20 songs from Walt Disney World Parks. Let me know what you think about my list and your favorites in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time, voice the colors.